the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor is one of the most advanced military aircraft in the world. The aircraft entered U.S. Air Force service in 2005, and is an agile, fast and incredibly capable. Something else it is though is very expensive. Unbelievably expensive, as costs for the F-22 went up and up during development. While the latest Lockheed Martin aircraft, the F-35 Lightning II, is available for export, the F-22 is not. Thanks to its high cost and the technologies involved in its creation, the United States decided against export of the fighter. Which means that the U.S. Air Force is the only air arm in the world that can operate the F-22 Raptor. The F-22's costs went up and up in development. Like many a great and complex military aircraft, the F-22 cost a lot of money. The U.S. Air Force had initially set itself a goal of having 381 F-22 Raptors within its ranks. But rising costs and other issues such as initial reliability put this number under scrutiny. Originally labeled as the ATF, the total program cost for the F-22 was set at a staggering $44.3 billion. The original procurement cost for initially 750 examples was $26.2 billion but as costs rose, the number of aircraft on order fell. In the end, in 2006 the project cost had risen to $62 billion for just 183 F-22s. When production for the F-22 wound down in 2011, the cost had risen further with the whole program costing $67.3 billion. This put the price tag of each F-22 at about $360 million for each of the operational aircraft delivered. Multiple plans to procure more F-22s have come to nothing, with the cost of a new Raptor in 2010 estimated at around $227 million each. At this time, the USAF was exploring a possible 75 additional airframes. A study was actually conducted in 2016 as to how much resuming production of the F-22 would cost. This figure, for 194 additional F-22s was an eye-watering $50 billion. Why can't America export the F-22 fighter jet? Lockheed Martin would build 195 F-22s in total. Eight test aircraft with 187 operational examples and not one example has gone for export. While costs have played a role, the main reason for its export ban is the stealth technology and classified features of the F-22. The F-35 does incorporate technology from the F-22. But the is cheaper and more flexible and thus available for export. Other air arms such as the Royal Air Force and Royal Navy use the F-35. Despite its own problems, the F-35 represents the pinnacle of military aircraft. A 2010 defense authorization bill did include provisions that required the duty to report on the costs and feasibility for an export version of the F-22. Japan, Australia and Israel have all explored the possibility of acquiring the F-22. But costs, its suitability for those countries' chosen roles and the lack of its availability put paid to those efforts. For the most part, air arms looking at the F-22 Raptor would end up with the F-35 Lightning II instead. The Raptor though is still very much a core part of the U.S. Air Force and its strategic air defense.